Hi. Okay. So, this is a truth video. <laughs> I've been struggling with something that's been happening out in the world and trying to, you know, create my own energy, my own reality, what I want. Like, I really don't want that lack of lens anymore. Like, I want that gone. But it's really hard when you see so much suffering. But, I, you know, I'm starting to come up with some really good strategies on how to kind of counter that and bring in more abundance. So I'm okay with that kind of thing right now. But what's really got me angry, like, I mean angry, and people who've heard me talk about it will know. <laughs> I get very passionate about what's happening with men pretending to be girls. <laughs> and that's so bad when I say that. But that's how disrespected I feel right now. Okay, I feel like I have to defend myself, first of all, by saying I have nothing against transgendered people at all. And in fact, I think they're very brave, you know, very brave and have courage to actually be their authentic self and do that transformation because that's got to be hard on so many different levels. So I completely respect that and I will, you know, call a transgendered person by their pronouns as they see themselves, female, male, I will too, a hundred percent, I will respect. So it has nothing to do with that. What has an issue for me is yet another man is taking away a woman's voice, using us as objects, using us as, you know, something to be dismissed and tossed away, take away our value, you know, exploit and devalue our experiences. For what, really? Like, I'm sorry, but there is a difference. And I'm not sorry, actually. There is a difference between a man and a woman and a female and a male. There is science, biology, right? Male and female species have different parts, different organs, different things happening. There are things that a man can do that I will never be able to do. Just like there are things that I can do that a man will never be able to do, right? So here's what I kind of think about this is that, you know, male and female, that is biology, that's nature, that's objective. Woman and man, that's subjective, changeable, and I don't know, but you get where I'm going with that, right? So it doesn't matter how you ended up a woman or a man, it doesn't matter how you end up ultimately in the end, that's fine. We will respect that. But we need to respect that there is a biological difference. And that by what's happening right now with women getting beat on again by a man who is claiming to be a woman, but yet has no woman parts. Makeup doesn't make you a woman. Long hair doesn't make you a woman. Like, there is a biological difference between a male and a female. And I think we really need to respect that. And I think it's scary that we're losing our rights <laughs> and letting another man take over something that is ours, our like birthright. And that's another thing, you know, going through life as a woman is not easy. We go through a lot in our bodies, in society, in our minds. And I'm not minimizing a man at all. In fact, I think we need to celebrate men as well. I don't want to tear down a man to build up a woman. That's not what we want. We need to be together, right? And we're not together right now. Ho, ho, man. And people are like, oh, so upset for oh, so many different reasons. But I think that's a problem. We really need to get to the point there's a difference between sexuality and gender. That's it. And let's respect that. Because I'm more than just a carrier, birther, milk giver, I don't whatever is going out there, what people are trying to call women. I am a woman. I am female. I am proud. Like, don't take that away from me. Let me be heard. 
don't take away my experiences to highlight and I don't know, whatever your own agenda is, doesn't matter. We can't take that away. We need to still respect our actual genders while respecting sexuality. Yeah. I'm not sure where that line is or what that looks like. <laughs> All I know is that right now, this is not working. And I know that people who are all on different sides of the fence, you know, we're all starting to, we're not really working together on this one. And it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't. It really doesn't have to be hard. But you can't take away somebody else's value and worth and experience to build up your own. That's not right. Not cool. You've got to figure a different way out. And seriously, those pathetic jumping jacks in your little white top there, really? That's an insult. What fucking girl does that? Who does jumping jacks like that? That is pathetic. That's an embarrassment. You should be ashamed of yourself for that one. Ugh. Anyway, that is where I'm really struggling with trying to get my energy vibrations up. Because I'm just so angry about how women are being portrayed right now and mocked by a man. <sighs> like, really? And I know some women are even so harder more on other women. Like, I know this is going to turn into a whole thing, but it doesn't have to be. I think what we really need to do is work together to come up with, you know, respectful definitions, if we need definitions, but we do, so get it, right? And just not take away someone else's experiences or worth to build up somebody else's agenda. I think that's what it boils down to. I think that was really well said when I had said that a little while ago. Anyway, that's my rant. I actually feel better saying that now. <laughs> I do. And now I'm going to go for a walk with a dear friend. So have a wonderful afternoon. And let's really be kind to each other. Really. We're all the same energy in the end. So let's just be kind. Have a great day. Bye.